we, we've got a lot of talking about inspections. So, uh, and I, I've told everybody, video your inspections, video them. So I had the opportunity to get a little video this weekend. So we're going to go, and I want everybody to pay attention to the time that is spent on inspecting a horse. Now here is a gentleman that's inspecting a horse, and he's going over all the paperwork and everything to make sure everything's right. And uh, he, he's doing it the way he's supposed well, to do yes. it. Yes. Well, he experienced with it. Uh, well, he's I've been experienced, seeing him for, and he for knows while, what yes. he's doing. That's right. He's checking all his dots and crossing all the T's. And yes. Just, just getting everything straight, which uh, I believe his name is DeSoul. Mm -hmm. So he's uh, got all their guards around and everything. But I want you to watch how long it takes this gentleman to inspect the horse. And if you look in the right hand bottom corner of your TV, you will see a timer. Now he's thoroughly inspecting the horse the way the Horse Protection Act asked for. He looked at the feet to make sure there was no scars, blemishes, or anything. Then he palpated, got done, put the foot down. Now he checked the front foot. Now he's going to the right foot. Well, Jerry, if you experience and you know what you're looking for or whatever, you don't have to take a long time. No. You know, he's he's no, you know, it don't take long to figure out what he's what he want to do. Well, if 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 you know <clears throat> something, if something's wrong with a horse, you're gonna see it right off, off the, bat. the bat. That's right. Ain't no doubt. All right, fifty-one point twenty-nine seconds. Now watch this one. All right, they done went over the paperwork. So now watch her. And there's a difference in people in the way they inspect. But if you notice, she's got a flashlight out, she's parting hairs, she's doing whatever she can, and then instead of holding the horse's foot down where the other man did, the man did, she's got she's holding it up on a limb. Yeah. There's a reason why inspections are done properly and reasons why they're not. And she's giving you an example of someone that is doing their best to find anything that they can call a horse out on. And to me, that's unprofessional. I mean, it just, you know. <laughs> well, if. But that's was, the difference between being ex experienced and not experienced. It is. It's a major difference it's in big, what they're doing. That's right. In the way they're doing it. And then people want to know why we get upset. Yeah, it's that's just right. why we get upset. We get upset because people come back there and they, whatever they can do to cause a problem, they want to do it. And that to me is the most upsetting thing of all. I, I don't agree with the judge in a lot of the times, but here's a prime example why you don't agree with the inspection process. She's got, she's holding the horse's limb where she shouldn't be, in my opinion. Yeah. And if you notice when she's touching him, he ain't moving, it's when she's not touching him that he's moving. But now we'll give her credit for one thing. The horse showed. Yeah. I mean, she did she did not go overboard with the way she was causing it to move. Now there you go. She's through with the front, but now she goes around and gets the back too. And now he's ready to show. 